this equipment here is a spirometer and it's used for measuring the breathing volume now how does this work this spirometer is it's primarily got a tank over here which you can see is red in color I'm painting it red so that you'll know what I'm talking about now into this tank we initially pump some water we fill it up with water and you can see above this there's a transparent lid which actually floats on the surface of the water this is the lid that I'm talking about and at the tip of this lid there's a pointer a pencil or a pen which is attached <coughs> there and that lid can move along a graph paper and the graph paper you can see is on something called a chyme graph which is a rotating drum this is called the chymo graph which is a rotating drum to which the graph paper is attached and as this pen moves up and down it forms in a wave pattern on the graph paper now once we fill the water into the trough here and once the water is filled up this region now what we do is we pump in oxygen through this inlet pipe through the face mask the oxygen is pumped in through this tube and as the oxygen moves inwards as shown by the direction of this row the lid will be pushed upwards and this is while the person is inhaling the same movement will happen and if you notice there's a valve here which we call as the valve I've labeled it for convenience as the valve A and it prevents oxygen from flowing outwards so it ensures that oxygen can only move inwards through this pipe and into the chamber now if a person inhales yeah this is what happens when a person exhales not when he inhales this is what happens when a person exhales when he blows air out his lungs into the spirometer the movement is upwards now when a person inhales and takes air from the spirometer the air will move this can through the carbon dioxide absorbing material and that's really essential for as a safety precaution because if a person inhales too much of carbon dioxide uh, that could lead to uh, a change in respiration in the rate of breathing now what happens here is um, as carbon di as oxygen um, oxygen is removed from the chamber as the person inhales this lid will move downwards so as the person exhales the lid moves upwards as the person inhales the lid moves downwards and there will be corresponding movement of this pen and the combined movement of the pen and the graph paper will give a wave pattern as shown here now that's what we have to analyze as 
the spiromate trace.